Kind of change of direction here for you to yes. a certain extent. And I mean, this is an individual who is on a par with Rose West and Myra Hindley. No, in yes. terms of being a woman who's been given a, a sort of life term without limit. That's right. But she's not as familiar a name. Mm. As those no, other two. I hadn't heard so of her. These are the crimes of Joanne Dennehy, mm. uh, diagnosed with a psychopathic disorder, oh. who um, six years ago was responsible for a, a series of three horrific, gruesome mm. murders. She's a serial killer, and she's described by the man, the detective who was responsible for tracking her down, as the most dangerous woman mm. in the British prison system. Oh, I mean, wow. which is an absolutely astonishing yeah. way to be described. She knew her victims, described. didn't she? Yeah, she knew her victims. So these were three men who were uh, killed over a 10-day period, and all of them had a reason to trust her, or perhaps more. One of them was her flatmate, one of them was her oh, landlord, who God. she had a and by what means? Connection. I mean, I don't want to get too gruesome. Well, she stabbed them through the heart, oh. and she seemed to get a kick out of it. Oh. And then after she murdered these three men, she then went on what she thought was another killing spree, where she killed two random dog walkers who were just innocently minding their own wow. business and left them for dead. Oh, and, um, you know, isn't actually absolutely astonishing, horrifying yeah. story. She yeah. was a serial well, killer. And, you know, it's utterly chilling. It's weird, isn't it? We are more shocked because she's a woman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we are. Yeah. And as mm. you mentioned, one of only three women to be given a whole All life term, life yeah. term mm. in prison. Yeah. Because when we talk about life sentences, of course, they come with a minimum term in prison, mm. after which someone is mm. yeah. released and, and kept on life licence. She will never be released no. from prison. Well, as I say, it's ITV 9 o'clock tonight. It, yes. it is mm. a must-watch. Be watching that. Um, oh. Susanna, are you still off the booze, I'm going to ask you? Yeah, this is just water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's such a big thing working with this. Piers Morgan. It's quite an achievement. Yeah. 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 Very well. <laughs> Even Piers himself says he normally drives people to drink when they work <laughs> with him. But, yes, I've managed to stay off the booze pretty much for seven months. Wow. Um, I, I have to say, it's not entirely teetotal because yeah. I have had, on average, a drink a month. But yeah. every time I have an alcoholic drink, I think the more that my body comes off it... Look, there I am, with a nice big glass of white wine. <laughs> <laughs> and in what um, circumstances do you find yourself having a drink once a month? Well, there, that was with Piers, and right. on another occasion, it was with Piers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's it's a bit of a common so denominator. It's, it's <laughs> exactly right, yeah. And, you know, one of the last times that I drank was after the Oscars, we did wow, this um, show in yeah. LA, which was absolutely magnificent. And I just thought to myself, I'm in the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio is in disguise in the corner. All right, I'm, all right. I, I'm <laughs> with him. Not, not that good in disguise, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I thought, if you're not going to have a margarita yeah. after the world's biggest, most glamorous party, when are you going to have one? Yeah. I had one. <laughs> when you clap. Two days to get over the hangover. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, really? I, I wow. just did a hundred days so because I wanted to question this whole thing about every single thing that you do that's great. You think, oh, I've got to have a drink with it. Yes. And um, it, I, I found it astonishing the clarity, yes. all that anxiety is going. I've lost a stone in weight. Yeah. It's and easy I have calories found it to lose. It's so difficult since my mm. menopause to lose weight. But right. what, what made you stop? It was a doctor saying to me, because I went to a doctor about my skin, I, I had a few skin problems, and my doctor said to me, you know what, if you cut out alcohol, it will definitely improve your skin. Right. And um, I managed, and he also said, it'll help you lose weight as well. Mm. And I, so I lost a significant amount of weight and I cut out the alcohol almost completely. I have to say my skin's not entirely clear as a result. You know, I wouldn't say it's like the magic solution, yeah. but it's definitely helped. And you right? feel better, do you? I feel better for it, definitely. And I I think the more that you wean yourself off, the harder it is. I don't know if you found when you've gone yeah. back onto alcohol whether you have sort of more effects oh, God, as a it result. Oh, you like a train. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. But what about the people around you? Because often people don't like it when somebody cuts down, if yeah. they've been yeah. used to having you as part of their social circle and yeah. it involves drink. To yeah. Totally right. And you know, the, one of the worst occasions is when you go to a celebration, go to someone's birthday, yeah. and they say, right, yeah. everyone's going to have a have glass a of champagne. Have a drink. And you say, mm. oh, no, I'll just have sparkling water. And they just feel personally insulted. Like I know. Ugh. So I think you almost <laughs> have to, you know, you have have to get into the celebratory mood because yeah, otherwise yeah. you do kill the mood. Yeah, you did. Didn't you actually, didn't oh, you actually get stood up once because you didn't yes. drink? Yes. So I was due to go. <laughs> this is last summer. I was due to go out on a date, and um, the guy said to me. The guy texted me and said, "Oh, you know, where should we go? And let's go out for a drink." And I said, "Oh, I hate to say this, but actually, I don't drink. So we can do something else." 
And then that was it. Well, no, there's not the kind of nice you want, then. <laughs> well, do you know what? I thought if that is the kind of yeah. nice you want, then actually I'm better off out of it. Yes. So yes. Before yeah. you go, we've quickly got to ask you the Strictly curse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So I call it the Strictly Coincidence. I'm still fantastic friends with my ex and I'm still really good friends as well with Kevin, so... Um, and it's Stacey you know, Dooley now, of course, who was his partner and yeah. she's split up with. How will Kevin feel about all these rumours? Because he is very much being identified as the guy who is always yeah. at the centre of the Strictly Curve. But, well, you know, I, I, again, I would just say that's a coincidence, unfortunately, mm. especially in my case. I, mean, I can't talk about anybody else, but in my yeah. case, you know, that unfortunately our relationship was at that stage. Yeah. And I would say if you look at strictly overall and everyone who's participated the vast majority of people in relationships when they start strictly yeah. end up in their you know the same relationships exactly. you know yeah. it doesn't there are uh, a few though that split up you have to. <laughs> yeah i know but okay just like any workplace yeah. i met yeah. my ex through work you know yeah. that's that is it is normal I so also it's like the christmas party yeah. sort of thing isn't there we go yeah. strictly is just like one big christmas <laughs> party <isn't laughs> i also think when you listen to a lot of people who've been on it and they talk about their relationship's breaking up. It's the, 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 the relationship was going that way yeah, anyway, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, and then so the young coincidence, life, oh, yes. yeah. sort of individual fashioned <laughs> into wriggling the. Wriggling getting carried away. <laughs> <laughs> when are you doing it? <laughs> no, no, that, year, I think, <laughs> that could <laughs> never happen. I don't okay. think I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> not looking for that, frankly. <laughs> 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 So I think, and can we say congratulations to GMB for the BAFTA nomination? Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Thank you so oh. much. Yeah. Oh, it's a team effort, so well done to the Good Morning Britain team. Absolutely. Very excited. We'll get Two nominations. Very early wow. in the morning. <gasps> and um, celebrating five years. Yeah. yeah. Five, celebrating? Yeah. 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 Celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> celebrating five years of 350 alarm calls. <laughs>